Yeah, Paul, about 70% of firefighters in the state are volunteers, and that's why it's concerning that the number of volunteer firefighters has dropped so drastically recently. Volunteer firefighters don't get paid or paid just a few dollars an hour and have to rely on fundraisers to raise money for things like training, equipment, and upkeep. But a new initiative by state leaders in Columbus hopes to solve some of those problems. First, the state will start airing a PSA commercial for folks to apply to become volunteer firefighters. Those will happen over the next Next few months and per recommendations of a volunteer firefighter task force created in 2022 training sessions, which can cost upwards of $1,000 will now be covered by the state and not the departments. It's not just the fact that you're going through the training is the fact that we got to outfit you so that you're safe. The other thing is, is the training that goes along with the equipment that we have to wear. So that's all very important just to outfit a firefighter before we even put them in anything different. Uh, you're looking at five to $6,000 for turnout gear and also the complete uh, protection ensemble and put an, uh, what we call an SCBA, wearing that as another four to $5,000. So each firefighter just wearing a gear is close to $10,000. And these shortages being felt affect more than just fire calls as volunteer firemen also respond to EMS calls. Jetter also tells me they're going to continue pushing for more funding in hopes of allowing for more advanced firefighter training classes to be covered for all volunteers. Sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest, you want to see more. So click some of those links or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.